Holy crap. I told you, I freaking told you, Devin was going to contest that top spot. He's got that higher lever. He was going to be able to dominate that, that knuckles high position. Um, I was actually a bit nervous that first round because his hand ended up dumping. So he, he wasn't, um, I think Ermi's first round was actually able to dominate the top spot a bit more than, than Devin was. But man, after that, Devin just laid waste. As always, guys, please like and sub. It helps out my new channel a whole lot. Like, obviously, Devin didn't even end up going the hook the first round like they'd agreed to. They both went outside. Um, so, yeah, that plan kind of went out the window. I, I thought maybe that um, there was that one round, I think it was the second one, where Devin was bringing his shoulder, inching his shoulder forwards. I thought he was going to um, try and get his cup in that round, but no, they all ended up going outside. Devin just really dominating that top spot. Um, that little bit extra lever, just like Kurdecha did just able to completely dominate uh, the top spot. Uh, Ermi's looked very uncomfortable. Uh, right from the round one, he wasn't um, happy with the setup. He was, um, his hand looked fairly low. Um, he wasn't able to get the purchase. He, he, he was pr trying to pronate, but he was pronating from underneath. So he, he wasn't able to get the purchase that he needed. Um, and Devin's hand and thumb, particularly, he's been working on his thumb so much recently that it just, it's just so big to, to be able to even wrap your hand around. And the thing you've got to take into account is Ermi's used to be an 80 kilo guy. So you think about an 80 kilo hand, doesn't matter how much GH you've taken, it's still at its base level an 80 kilo hand. Now, I know uh, actually Levan used to be <laughs> a bit smaller as well. I think he potentially might have been... Was he 80 kilos at one point? I know he's definitely 90 kilos, but I think he uh, is just a slightly bigger human being um, than Hermes is. So I think Hermes is around 6'1 or 6'2. Uh, Levan, about 6'3, I believe. Um, to me, like, the perfect arm wrestler, it depends on the table size, right? Like, obviously, um, if you're really short, you have to be really extended. Um, it's not so ideal. Um, but once you start getting up towards Vitaly's height, I feel like you're too crunched in. So you saw uh, Leva, uh, Vitaly versus Rivets. He got the top roll, but he was kind of, he was so cramped up. They're, they're really, it's difficult to transition or to, to be a more technically diverse arm wrestler when you're such a big human being on, on a relatively small table in comparison. So for me, I feel like the optimal kind of arm wrestling size is in between kind of 6'3 six, to 6'6, six, six, maybe somewhere in there. Um, so Devin, to me, is like the perfect kind of sized arm wrestler. He's got enough um, height to be able to dominate in height for a lot of his matches. But then he's also um, not too big that he is limited in options in terms of bringing shoulder forwards, committing hook, um, um, and getting opened too easily from having such a long lever. Uh, but yeah, what fantastic matches. Really, really excited. Uh, this kind of throws the ranks into disarray, so I might do a future video on um, where I think the heavyweights um, worldwide ranks are at. Um, it's making me really think, does he have a chance against Levan going forwards? Because he's he by his own admission, he knew after the Levan match that contesting that top spot um, is really the way to go against someone like Levan. So to, to me, like someone, um, whenever someone's going high, high knuckles, you've got two options. Um, number one, you can either beat them up top and completely disable their entire game plan. Or number two, you can kind of say, okay, uh, you take that top spot. I'm going to supinate and drive sideways, really secure that cup in, and get, you're really fighting for rotation. You get your, your bite in the match through rotation rather than getting um, a top spot leverage. Um, so to me, one of those two is the best option against a guy like Levan. Either have to beat him up top, um, or cut him off a bit lower with cup. It seems like potentially that, that might be a bit suicidal to go down the bottom like that. Um, so maybe going up top is the better option against a guy like Levan.